Is the Silent Hill 2 remake secretly in development hell? Well recently Bloober Team disclosed that they are done with making psychological horror games right when the world is desperate for news on their remake of the greatest psychological horror game ever made. And this comes from Kotaku.com though many outlets have published about it. Polish horror game developer Bloober Team told Engadget it's leaving the psychological horror subset, a genre that's defined all of its biggest titles like Layer of Fear and the cyberpunk title Observer, far behind. The studio is currently responsible for the impossible, diehard fans say, task to remake Silent Hill 2 and say it's time to lean fully into mass market horror. This year is like closing the era of making psychological horror games, Bloober co-founder Piotr Babieno said to Engadget. Right now we are going into Bloober Team 3.0, making mass market horror. Why on earth has a team who said they want to be the naughty dog of psychological horror now suddenly shifting gears and direction to chase mass market horror, whatever that means? I have a theory which you can call being pessimistic, but hear me out. Since the reveal that Bloober Team were making this remake, the details on it have been harder to get hold of than a golden ticket to the bloody chocolate factory. There's been so many rumours and leaks which have amounted to nothing. Remember back in May, Dusk Gollum, who had since retired from Twitter, said that there was a new trailer coming along with the Ascension trailer that we got. Well, that didn't turn up. There were leaks from that Australian retailer that said the release date was this year in September, which, let's be honest guys, isn't going to be true given that we're in July now and we've had nothing but radio silence from Bloober and Konami regarding this remake. I initially said Konami would probably just host another Silent Hill transmission to update us on the progress of the various Silent Hill games that are in development, but instead they just shadow dropped that stinky trailer for Ascension and, well, I've got a video going over what I thought of that. So what the hell is going on with one of the most anticipated horror games of the century? We've seen companies who are confident with their product drop demos, videos, behind the scenes content and so on, but with this, just nothing. So I believe it's possible that Bloober's rendition of this game is just not up to snuff. And Konami may have had their teams test some of the games with selected groups of people obviously NDA'd out of their asses, and the reception could have been lukewarm. And why do I say that? Well, the same reason I've always questioned the idea of Bloober Team developing the game from the start. They have yet to make a single game which proves that they're capable of making a product which is a breakout success. The recent Layers of Fear remake was apparently supposed to be horror reimagined, when in actual fact it proved once again that Bloober Team refused to listen to the feedback that they've been getting from every release they're responsible for. Poor handling of sensitive topics regarding mental health, gameplay loops revolving around brain dead puzzle solving and moving a floating camera from room to room with next to no gameplay mechanics, corny voiceovers which aren't even remotely unsettling, terrible optimization for their games resulting in the typical Unreal Engine stutters and crashes, and just generally bad storytelling. Anyway, back to this article. In our past games, we focused on story, we focused on the mood, we focused on the quality of the graphics and the music, but we didn't put a lot of attention on the gameplay mechanics, he said. It wasn't our target, but we decided that there was a ceiling that we could not break if we did not deliver something fresh and something new. This admission from Piotr Babiano flat out says that they were making video games that had no desire to be mechanically engaging, only flashy graphical tech demos. The guys at Bloober Team have stated countless times that the most influential title for them was Silent Hill 2, and now they get the once in a lifetime chance at remaking it, which even if it turns out to be bad, will be arguably the highest points in their career. And now they want to say they're done with psychological horror. Is this because they finally had to add new things like combat mechanics to create the Silent Hill 2 remake? So now they just want to chase the success of games like Resident Evil or try to compete with Remedy and their upcoming Alan Wake 2. Blooper Team changed the camera perspective to over the shoulder third person, which will mean if the combat is bad, then the game is going to feel like a chore to play. Everyone agrees, well mostly everyone, that combat was secondary to the experience that the original Silent Hill 2 delivered, but that's because it was a tank controls fixed camera game. Having an over the shoulder camera puts more focus on what James will be seeing and fighting, so if they fluff that aspect, well the game might as well have just remained fixed cameras, as they make scenes look far more cinematic and are more forgiving of poor combat mechanics. What's going on Konami? Why haven't we had any updates for this game? It clearly isn't releasing this year. Summer Games Fest and the various events have been and gone. The announcements have already been made for what's coming this year. 
So what's it going to be, 2024, 2025? Or is this game in just such a mess that you can't show us yet for fear of backlash? But again, this is just me speculating here, guys. The facts are the Bloober team are apparently done with the genre that they claim to be masters of. And look, people change their minds. It's okay for the team to branch out and try new things. That's absolutely worth encouraging. But maybe not while they're working on Silent Hill 2. That's just like not a good time to say shit like that, is it? It only spawns worry. Sorry that this video wasn't as positive as you might have wanted, but we need to start tempering our expectations of this game. Blooper Team are a confusing developer. They keep getting pushbacks on their games, but don't correct the issues with their later releases. They seem to just love the smell of their own farts a little bit too much, and it's blinding them from realizing what it takes to handle the subject matters that they love to use in their narratives. What do you think though guys, let me know in the comments. I'm personally starting to get really impatient with this Silent Hill revival. All I want, and I'm sure all you guys want too, is for our favourite series to come back with a bang, to make an impression on players like it did back then. If Ascension is the first Silent Hill game that we're going to get, which, guys, it looks likely, I can't see it being the blast off into the stratosphere that we need. And with the complete silence, if you'll pardon the pun, on the Silent Hill 2 remake, it doesn't instil much confidence, does it? Come on Konami, please make better decisions for this franchise and Bloober Team, make me eat my words. Prove me wrong, please. We need Silent Hill back on the podium. Like this video if you liked it guys, dislike it if you didn't, sub if you want to see more from me and I'll see ya when I'm looking at ya. Thank you. I might stream Silent Hill 2 tomorrow, just FYI.